In the midst of a national campaign to stop bullying, a local student says his bully is an unlikely source, well, his teacher. Lindsay Shively spoke with his family who wants his story to help others. Lindsay? The Davis family says they want their son's story out, not just to help stop the word that has become unacceptable to use with anyone, but because of the particular, often overlooked battle that their son faces every day. Dwayne Davis is used to his son Alex coming home from school upset. That he couldn't talk about it. He gets bullied every day, but last week was different. We finally got out of him that a teacher had referred to him as retarded. A second red flag flew when Alex told them another school staff member insisted. Well, you don't, don't tell your parents. Just let's not nag your parents about this. Alex was serving an in-school suspension when this happened. Dwayne admits his child can be difficult, but that's no excuse for the teacher's words. They don't remember in those moments of frustration that it's because he has a disability. 12-year-old Alex has Asperger's. It means social situations are difficult, to say the least. It's an issue with all autistic kids simply because of the way they look. They look normal, so they're supposed to act normal. District officials acknowledge they are working with the family to resolve the incident. Davis says district officials told the family the teacher admitted using the derogatory term. A teacher should know better. Their response to it was, this is a poor choice of words. That, to me, is the tip of the iceberg. Especially telling me not to tell anyone. It's just like being held hostage against my will. When the school days seem isolated enough for Alex. Uh, the school system does the best they can, but they're failing at it. This family has spent years trying to protect their child, now trying to get others to realize the impact of their words and understand autism. While Shawnee Mission School District officials here acknowledge they know about what happened, they say they can't talk about the specifics of this because this is a personnel issue. They also say uh, this is not typical of their very professional staff and it does not meet the expectations of this district. Uh, something special to note that really illustrates just how long this family has been fighting this fight. Uh, Dwayne Davis also tells me he is well into his collegiate studies for behavioral psychology in school. By Alex. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News. Synergy Services in Kansas City has programs to help families deal with bullying. Here are some tips they have for parents. Remind your child that body language plays a role in how they're received. They should walk confidently, for example. Give your child opportunities to interact with others if they don't have many friends. And document what your child tells you about bullying incidents so you have a record to share with others. And for more help, you can call the Synergy 24-Hour Youth Crisis Hotline at 816-741-8700.